Hey, this is Florin, and in the next few minutes, I will show you one of the latest bits of functionality we added to Evolute Tools Pro, which is about the extraction of the conjugate curves. Now, I have quickly sketched up a saddle surface, and first I will extract the principal curvature lines. And this is something we already had in the plugin, but I just want to show you something new in the command. So we can either shoot a uh, few rays at the surface, or now we have the option to enter a sample size. So let's put something like 44 in. And this, was, this will quickly cover the entire surface. And of course you can add more. Cool. So the principal curvature lines are really useful if we want to discretize this freeform surface with a conical planar quad mesh. But what if we want to discretize it with a uh, planar quad mesh, but we also want to prescribe one of the families of curves from the start? Now let's attempt this and see how it works. First I will just delete all the curves I just drawn out. And I'll start to sketch up a few curves on this surface. You can draw up as many as you want. And presumably these are the curves to which I want my PQ mesh to be aligned to. Alright, now in order to get the conjugate direction, we have to use ET extract conjugate lines. Uh, select the surface. And we have to pick the curves. The cool thing about the curves, first you can pick as many as you want. And the second thing is that they don't necessarily have to be on your surface. They can be quite a distance away. Alright, selection is done. Now the plugin is computing the direction field. And we can just shoot up a few lines or we can just use the sample size just like before. We have the option to trace the curve field. Let's do that. And I'll just enter a sample side, let's say 44. This is quite dense. Now we have the conjugate direction of the prescribed curves which is drawn up. And this is really cool because now you can create a PQ mesh uh, by using this uh, conjugate curve field uh, as a reference. And let's try to find an intersection somewhere. And according to the theory, if we put a face in this intersection here, it should be flat. I hope I get the points, the intersection points, pretty accurate. Now let's analyze the planarity of this thing. And let's look at the scale invariant, it's more precise. And this is an extremely good value. This is pretty much flat. This is a flat face. So this is actually pretty cool, and by using this new functionality in Evoluted Tools Pro, you can discretize any freeform surface with a planar quad mesh, and you have the option to prescribe one of the families of curves from the start, and the plugin will just compute the conjugate direction. And this is really useful because sometimes you want to pick your mesh which is not aligned to the principal curvature lines because that can be that can have a pretty random angle to your boundaries or your alignment points or whatever. And by using this functionality, you have the power to uh, control the first direction of the curves. Alright, this is pretty good. Thanks for watching.